Trump ready to punish China for North Korea inactivity amid growing tensions with Russia. Senior members of Trump's team spent the weekend discussing what shape the punishment should take and are expected to announce their decision later this week, with the options including trade restrictions or economic sanctions. The US president tweeted his anger at China over the weekend after North Korea's missile launch on Friday, the 14th test carried out by the Hermit State in 2017. He wrote, I am very disappointed in China. Our foolish past leaders have allowed them to make hundreds of billions of dollars a year in trade, yet they do nothing for us with North Korea, just talk. We will no longer allow this to continue. China could easily solve this problem. China's insistence on trying to alleviate tensions diplomatically is frustrating Mr Trump and after Kim Jong-un claimed that Friday's test showed the US is in range of North Korea's missiles, there is increasing pressure on the president to act fast. One White House said Mr Trump's frustrations about the ballistic missile test combined with a sense that Chinese officials aren't committed to helping on North Korea, are making it more likely for him to act, according to Politico. President Trump could turn to people in his administration like Chief Strategist Steve Bannon, Trade Advisor Peyton of Aro and Policy Advisor Stephen Miller. All of whom have argued for tougher sanctions on China. In February, Beijing announced a ban on North Korean coal imports after the assassination of Kim Jong Un's brother, Kim Jong Nam. Yet, a staggering 90% of North Korea's trade is carried out through China. The United Nations imposed a series of strict sanctions on North Korea but that does not appear to have deterred Pyongyang as it continues to carry out nuclear and missile tests. Despite increasing tensions, the US and China are working together to impose new sanctions on North Korea in a bid to quell Pyongyang's repeated nuclear threats. But Washington has warned getting Russia to back the plans will be the true test as tensions escalate. Washington gave Beijing a draft resolution earlier this month which included plans to impose stricter measures on the Hermit State over the July 4 missile launch. But any punishment relies on China's cooperation with Russia as tensions on the Korean peninsula escalate and Washington-Moscow relations are pushed to breaking point. Nikki Haley, the US's UN ambassador, told reporters China's initial response to the plans showed seriousness, adding, we're constantly in touch with China. Things are moving but it's still too early to tell how far they'll move. We know that China's been sharing and negotiating with Russia, so as long as they are doing that, we're going to continue to watch this closely to make sure it is a strong resolution. The true test will be what, the Chinese, have worked out with Russia, and whether, Russia comes and tries to pull out of that. Ms Haley's Chinese counterpart, Liu Jiayi, said, We are making progress, it requires time, but we're working very hard. Trump has previously spoken highly of his Chinese counterpart Xi Jinping after the pair met in Washington in April. He said tremendous goodwill and friendship was formed when the leaders met but that relationship looks set to be tested amid increasing hostilities between the US and Russia.
Last night Vladimir Putin ordered 755 US diplomats to leave Russia after Mr Trump ratified a vote by both houses of Congress which would impose new sanctions on the Kremlin. Mr Putin labeled the sanctions as unlawful and has now moved to reduce the number of US staff in Russia to 455, the same number that Moscow has in Washington. The Russian leader confirmed the move, telling State TV, the American side has made a move which, it is important to note, hasn't been provoked by anything, to worsen Russian-US relations. This includes the unlawful restrictions, attempts to influence other states of the world, including our allies, who are interested in developing and keeping relations with Russia. We've been waiting for quite a long time that maybe something would change for the better, we had hopes that the situation would change. But it looks like, it's not going to change in the near future.